Hello everyone. So today we begins with the practical of platelet count. What is the principle of this practical? As normal platelet count runs in lakhs, the count is made possible by diluting the sample of the blood with diluting fluid before counting and subsequently multiplying the count with the dilution factor. So this is the principle of today's practical of the platelet count. Which are the instruments we are using for the practical of platelet count? Here we are using one percentage ammonium oxalate, and it is as a platelet diluting fluid. So this is the one percentage ammonium oxalate fluid as a platelet diluting fluid. Improved new bars counting chamber, pricking apparatus which includes lancet, cotton, spirit, and a cover slips. Compound microscope, test tube and test tube stand. So here it is the test tube and test tube stand. RBC pipette, petri dish. So this one it is the petri dish. Distill water and filter paper. So all these are the apparatus which are required for the practical of platelet count. Now here why we are using one percentage ammonium oxalate solution. as a platelet diluting fluid because it destroys rbcs it act as a anticoagulant and it preserves platelet so these are the functions of this one percentage of the ammonium oxalate solution now we begins with the procedure part take platelet diluting fluid one percentage of the ammonium oxalate in a test tube under aseptic precautions prick your finger and suck the blood up to 0.5 mark in the rbc pipette so here it is the 0.5 mark of the rbc pipette and you have to suck the blood up to this marking immediately dip the tip of the rbc pipette in platelet diluting fluid 1% ammonium oxalate and suck fluid up to 101 mark Once you collected the blood up to zero point five marking, after that immediately you have to dip the tip of the RBC pipette into RBC diluting fluid and suck the fluid up to one zero one mark of the RBC pipette. Mix blood with diluting fluid. Hold pipette horizontally. Wait for ten to fifteen minutes. Why we have to wait for ten to fifteen minutes? Because during this time. RBC hemolysis takes place or the destruction of RBC takes place because here we are doing platelet count practical at the end of 10 to 15 minutes discard first one to two drops of the fluid from the pipette as this stem of this pipette up to the one mark it only contains diluting fluid but not any blood cells that's why we have to discard first one to two drops of the fluid from the pipette put cover slip over the improved new bus counting chamber and charge the smear as you are seeing in this video take petri dish put a filter paper at the bottom of it and add drops of distilled water so it will create moist environment now place charge improved nubus counting chamber in moist petri dish for 20 to 30 minutes during this time platelets will settle down so you have to put this charge improved nubus counting chamber in a petri dish where the moist environment is there as there is a wet filter paper and after that you have to wait for 20 to 30 minutes because during this time platelets will settle down after 20 to 30 minutes put charge chamber on mechanical stage of the microscope 
and count platelets in 25 RBC squares. Now you already know the counting area and their squares. So here the center square is for the RBC counting area and in that square there are number of 25 squares are there and in every square you have to count the platelets in a 45x lens or high power lens. How to identify platelets? So these are highly refractile round bodies, very small 2 to 4 micrometer in diameter, well separated from other cells. So whatever the cell you are looking in this photograph, these all are the platelets. These are the highly refractile round bodies because whenever we try to do the fine adjustment, the platelet will appear and disappear, appear and disappear. That's how we are able to find which is the platelet and which is some type of dust material and some type of other cell. So in this photograph, whatever the this type of cells you are seeing, these all are the platelets. So you have to count these platelets in every 25 squares of the RBC area. Now the calculations. Calculation of dilution factor. Dilution factor is equal to final volume achieved divided by actual volume taken. So final volume achieved is equal to 101 minus 1 is equal to 100. The final volume achieved it is the 101. But here uh, the whatever the number 1 mark of the fluid we are not uh, taking into the this uh, dilution part of the blood. That's why we are not including this markings of the RBC pipette and here we will get only the final volume achieved which is the 100. Actual volume taken 0.5 as we collected the blood of the up to the 0.5 marking. So 100 divided by 0.5 is equal to 200. So dilution factor of this practical is 200. Now final calculations. Here we have to find out the area of RBC square. So this is the 3 by 3 mm square. The whole of the one counting area of this improved new bus counting chamber having the 3 by 3 mm square. 3 by 3 mm square means 3 mm in length and 3 mm in width. So here it is the area of RBC square. That means RBC square it is of the 1 by 1 mm. Alright. So here the area of RBC square is equal to 1 mm multiplied by 1 mm is equal to 1 mm square. Here the depth 1 by 10 mm. Depth means it is the gap between the cover slip and the counting area. So volume of RBC square is equal to 1 mm square multiplied by 1 by 10 mm is equal to 1 by 10 mm cube. So this is 1 by 10 mm cube. It is the volume of this RBC square. Now 1 by 10 mm cube contains n number of platelets. Then 1 mm cube contains how many number of platelets? So 1 mm cube contains 1 multiplied by n divided by 1 by 10 is equal to n multiplied by 10 number of platelets in 1 cubic mm. Now as per our principle, we have to multiply the count with the dilution factor. As our principle said that as normal platelet count runs in lakhs, the count which is made possible by diluting the sample of the blood with diluting fluid before counting and subsequently multiplying the count with the dilution factor. So whatever the count we will get, we have to multiply it with the dilution factor. So our dilution factor is 200. So we have to multiply this n multiplied by 10 multiplied by 200 is equal to n multiplied by 2000. So this is the final formula for the calculation of platelet count. So whatever the number of platelets you will find in this 25 RBC squares, just add it and that's how you will get the n value. Just putting n value over here and it multiplied by 2000, you will get your platelet count. So this is how you have to do the calculations for the platelet count practical. Functions of platelets, role in hemostasis, Hemostasis means spontaneous arrest or stoppage of bleeding. Role in clot formation, role in clot retraction, role in repair of injured vessels, role in defense, a little bit there but still it's not a function of platelets, it's purely a function of WBCs. Transport and storage function. So all these are the functions of platelets. Properties of platelets, adhesiveness means stickiness, aggregation, and agglutination.
नॉर्मल काउंट एंड वेरिएशन नॉर्मल प्लेटलेट काउंट वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड टू फोर लैख प्लेटलेट्स पर क्यूबिक एम एम ऑफ द ब्लड और इन सम अदर वे वन पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स टू फोर लैक्स प्लेटलेट्स पर क्यूबिक एम एम ऑफ द ब्लड द होल यूनिट यू मस्ट हैव टू स्पीक विथआउट द यूनिट द नंबर इज नथिंग फिजियोलॉजिकल वेरिएशन दैट मीन्स प्लेटलेट काउंट मे वेरी अकॉर्डिंग टू द एज सेक्स आफ्टर मील आफ्टर सीवियर एक्सरसाइज एट द हाई अल्टीट्यूड Now the variation of the platelet count. Whenever the platelet count below the normal, the condition is known as thrombocytopenia. And whenever the platelet count above the normal, the condition is known as thrombocytosis. So thrombocytosis increase in the platelet count and the conditions. For example, after trauma and splenectomy, in these conditions there will be the increase in the platelet count and uh, the condition is known as thrombocytosis. Now thrombocytopenia. That means decrease in platelet count less than 1.5 lakhs, and the conditions are the hypersplenism, viral infections like dengue, and bone marrow depression. So all these are the condition in which there is a decrease in the platelet count below the normal values, and uh, the condition is known as thrombocytopenia. I hope via this presentation now everyone able to understand how to do the practical of platelet count. If you like this presentation please try to share it with your friends group colleagues and batch